So can I just say before I get into this video that every time I bitch about the ban list, it seems like that the ban list gets dropped the next day or the day after. <laughs> so what's up you guys, it's your boy Avery here. I want to talk to you guys about the ban list once again. Uh, I don't monetize my videos. I'm not allowed to monetize my videos because apparently YouTube thinks I'm not good enough. So it's not like I'm trying to milk the ban list wagon dry. This is just something that I want to talk about because quite honestly, I'm sick and tired of not having an end date on this damn ban list. And I'm sick and tired of not enough people talking about it. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So for years, the forbidden list has had an end date on it we knew when it started and when it ended and the only time that this was ever not the case was whenever konami wanted to release a emergent or an emergency ban list so perfect example was with you know um god what was the point teledad format we saw an emergency balance with that cyberstein we saw an emergency balance with that i wasn't even playing competitively back then um, I didn't start playing competitively until 2008 when Teledad just became a thing and they just changed the Fusion deck to an extra deck. To give you a little bit of a point of reference of what I've experienced throughout the years. I've been playing this game competitively for basically 10 years. <laughs> so, I pose this question to you. As a player in the TCG, would you have an issue with an end date coming back to the ban list and potentially no changes coming to some of our ban lists. Now hear me out here. The OCG, from the research that I've done, still has an end date on their ban list. Why is it that the OCG can still have an end date on their list and they know when they're going to get theirs, but then us little American weeboos in the TCG aren't allowed to have an, an end date on our ban list? Is because that like Konami's over there in the corner in Japan like, hee hee, we're going to milk these filthy Americans for their money. Honestly, I've thought that several times over the years of playing this game, and it it would not surprise me if that was their reasoning. It's almost as if we're the guinea pigs and test subjects while they test the fun shit over in the OCG. And it all wraps back to around the OCG player base as a whole, right? You know, people always say to me, why is it that we can't have macro at 3? Why is macro at 3 in the OCG? Or why is this at 3 in the OCG? It's because, honestly, the OCG just plays different cards than we do. They don't like to play certain decks that we do. The reason why Macrocosmos is at 3 in the OCG, most likely, at least in my opinion, is just because of the fact that they don't really play cards like that. Like, you come on over here to the TCG, and we have Floodgates Galore. Like, we would gladly play Triple Macrocosmos. We would gladly play Triple Dimensional Fissure. We would gladly play Triple of cards like that. And we just, we like to experiment like that. But, it, at least from my perspective as a TCG player, the OCG player base doesn't really care to do that you know I don't know what I don't know how many in uh, final countdowns they can run in the OCG but I mean does Konami hate us that much that they won't even give us two final countdowns here in the TCG like with Solemn Judgment now legal at one literally if you play against a final countdown deck you have no reason to lose unless you just get somehow really unlucky because that deck literally cannot win you solemn judgment their final countdown they have to scoop and go to game two so the, what's the point that i'm making here the point that i'm making here is that bringing an end date back to the ban list would have no um bad side effects on our game right like let's take this as an example let's just say that tomorrow on august 28th at 2 a.m konami of America, whatever, drops a ban list for us. Let's just say hypothetically, because I even said this hypothetically and it actually came true on this on this previous list, the um, February 5th to May 21st, 2018 list. Uh, th for, for this list, I had made a video and I had said, you know, Konami, it wouldn't be a bad idea to say the next update after this list will be no sooner than blah or no later than blah. And then they did this. The next update after this will be no sooner than blah, 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 blah. And it actually came true. Like, I actually felt like a really good prognosticator. Like, I was proud of myself. <laughs> but the issue that we now face is that it just aggravates the player base as a whole. Why is it that we have to deal with just not having an end date and just having to twiddle our thumbs whereas the OCG can prepare better. The OCG knows, okay, around this date we're going to get a list. So let's prepare appropriately. For us, it's like, okay, we don't, we have an idea of what's going to get hit, so let's just sit on this deck and hope it doesn't get hit, and then it gets hit, and then we just feel like we've lost our money. 
it to me it's just a very bad process all around now let's say that we brought an end date back to the ban list let's say that we get a ban list tomorrow on August 28th and it lasts until just for argument's sake December 31st 2018 is when we would get another list well let's say somehow some way that there's nothing going on wrong in the TCG maybe a couple FTKs December 31st rolls around they hit maybe one or two cards and then they give us a new ban list that list will go on for another three months and they give us an actual end date again then on this next list after the December 31st list let's say that the game's all peachy and they say okay no changes it was a three month long format and they're gonna say no changes there would be people that would be pissed but at the same time there might also be people that wouldn't be pissed because remember on our previous list before we had the you know no sooner than and no later than and all that and Jonathan Moore and all these other people were coming out saying well we don't really need a list because you know power creep is taking care of the game for us it's balancing things out as soon as we get a new set it's power creeping out the previous set so everything is staying balanced in a way so we didn't have a list for a long time possibly because of that or possibly just because of the fact that Konami just did not give a damn <laughs> so if, if we could apply that concept of the constant power creeping to an end date on our ban list then even if Konami were to say we don't need to make any changes on this list I think people would be understanding because especially the competitive players that would say okay yeah you know the power creep has been happening here here and here you know this has been getting phased out this is coming into the game these decks are still competitive they're fair they're not overpowered and broken they're not causing you know very disgusting um, broken FTK game states um, it you know what not having a list right now is cool you know no changes need to be made go down the road a couple months later okay let's change this and if an emergency ban list has to happen then fine it just has to happen but I mean how many times has Konami done an emergency ban list in the in the 20 plus years of Yu-Gi-Oh I've been playing since 2008 and they have done it once or twice and I think that they've done it I want to say three or four times in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh they did an emergency one for Demok, emergency one for Cyberstein uh, an emergency I think they did an emergency ban list for they did an emergency ban list for something else. Oh, they did an emergency ban list. They remember they did that adjusted list a few years ago when Pepe was tier zero. They it was an emergency ban list, but they called it a quote unquote adjusted list. And it's like, bitch, please, <laughs> it's an emergency list. So you know, if they really have to do stuff like that, I think the the majority of the player base would be okay with it. If one deck is reigning supreme at tier zero, yeah, I even with an end date on the ban list yes I would want you as Konami to release an emergency ban list because I used to like tier zero formats and where one deck reigns supreme and you know all the other decks would have to try and take it out I don't really like that anymore I just want to have you know one best one deck that is considered the best deck of the format but yet other decks can still compete with it on a fairly even level that's why I enjoy Trickstar so much but that's another topic for another day so at the end of the day I think that even if Konami were to say no changes on this list, if they were to bring back an end date, I think that that would be totally fine. Because then, you know, people aren't feeling so burned on buying product. Like, I don't even really buy product that much anymore other than, you know, five packs of the newest set when it first comes out. After that, I just buy singles. Like, I, when I made my uh, Time Lord deck, which is the deck I'm playing now now that I sold Trick Stars, I didn't buy any of that set at all. I just went on Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint and I pre-ordered um, pretty much three of every single card. And then I pre-ordered a couple of other cards and they came in and I was a happy little panda bear. So I, I have no reason to buy packs anymore. And I think that it would help Konami's you know, bottom line as a whole if they were to say, okay, here's the end date on the list. Because then competitive players could be like, well you know maybe I'll buy a couple more packs because of the fact that you know I know that this sets gonna be good for this amount of time let's buy a couple packs or you know buy a couple cards from this set whatever the case may be and at the end of the day people that buy packs are going to buy packs no matter what and maybe that's the double-edged sword here is because that they know no matter what people are gonna buy packs whether they have an end date on their ban list or not however the peop the, the other end of that sword is that People that don't buy packs are not going to buy packs either way whether you put an end date on this list or not. At the end of the day, I think having an end date on this list is just the best way to go. Because 
you're helping more people than you're hurting. What is wrong with having an end date on an assignment? What is wrong with having an end date when a project is due? Why is it that we as the consumer have to wait on, you know, ear to the ground just for a list? Shouldn't we as your consumer have the right to know when you're going to change the game on us since we buy your product? Um, shouldn't you as a company, you know, have Kevin Tour or some other chucklehead over at Konami release an article saying, hey, look, we're going to have the balance coming out, you know, next week. You know, just like they did with the March 2012 balance that everybody hated, which looking back on it was a really terrible list. <laughs> they, re they had so much backlash that they released an article explaining why they made the choices that they made. Why can't they do that to this day? Why can't they just give us an end date, say, if changes need to be made during the season, we'll let you know that we're going to change it. I think that it would make the player base as a whole much happier. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I know that this is a little bit of a rant. I know that this is a little bit of a long video, almost going on at 12 minutes. But I want to make sure that I hit all my bases because I think a lot of people can agree with this. I think that there are many people that will side with me on this topic of wanting to have an end date on our ban list. I think that there would really be nothing wrong with it. And and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is a good thing to this. Like, you know, the no later than August of 2077 that we get a ban list. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Because, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is better for the game as a whole. So, let me know what you guys think. Please be sure to like and subscribe as always, even though I post very irregularly. But thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.